Hi everyone, Jeff here from the Jeffro Wingnut YouTube channel. Join us on an epic three day adventure as I tick off a couple of places from my moto camping bucket list. On day one, we make our way to the famous bridle track near Hill End and camp overnight in this pristine area. After 50 millimetres, two inches, of rain the night before, things don't go quite to plan. Look how deep it is, man, it's up to his knees. Day two was smooth sailing, as we complete the bridle track and continue on through Hill End and Safala, then down Palmer's Oakey Road for some spectacular dirt roads and countryside. After restocking in Oberon, we make our way to Canangra Walls and camp the night in some light drizzle. Day three, we head back home via some of the best adventure trails in New South Wales, Mount Warong Road and the Range Fire Trail, just to name a few. I met Dave and Andrew at 7.30 in pristine weather and before long we were on the gateway to the west, Wombian Caves Road. Glancing down into the canyon along Wombian Caves Road, we couldn't help but notice the ferocity of the water flow in the Wallandilly River, of which we needed to cross in the not too distant future. Yikes! Finally we arrived at the Goodman's Ford River crossing and our worst nightmare was realised. The ford was in full flood, about knee deep. <laughs> I'm getting I'm wet. And that log, there's still water over it. I think it's right across. Look how deep it is, man. It's up to his knees. I kept going out to the log to see if it could be persuaded to continue on its way down the river. Fortunately, it couldn't which made our decision easy. We had to go back and find another way. I'm just more worried about the current. I'm worried it's gonna take the wheels out from under you. We arrived back in Berrima at 10.05. This meant our little detour had cost us two hours and about 90 kilometers, which is all part of the adventure. We knew the Talo River crossing at Swallowtail Pass would be in the same condition as the Wallandilly, so we decided to cut our losses and travel down the freeway to Goulburn. It was the only way around these river systems. Finally at 12.11, we passed the intersection where we were supposed to come out from our original route. Instead of 28 kilometres and 53 minutes from Goodman's Ford, we travelled 180 kilometres in three hours to get to the same place. Awesome! We made our way down the rest of Jurong Road and took to the pine plantations to get as much dirt road in as possible before arriving at Bathurst. Thanks to my GoPro glitching out, I missed all of it. After stocking up with some cold beverages, we headed off for the bridle track. The bridle track was pretty cruisy and very scenic. Information on its origins are a bit sketchy, but according to Wikipedia, this trail along the Macquarie and Chiron rivers was quite likely first used in the 1850s to 60s when gold was first discovered in the Hill End locality. I've got to say that the Monaghan's Bluff bypass blew me away by the lengths that they went to to keep this iconic trail open. Apparently the New South Wales government contributed $2 million to the cause and Bathurst Council the rest. We rode what seemed like most of the bridle track before settling on a campsite. A nice little spot, not far from the river and some firewood.
On day two, we woke to a cool overcast day with a gusty breeze blowing. We were in no rush as we didn't have a big day planned. Unless we had another three hour unplanned detour like yesterday. So we packed up and hit the trail. I've got to say, this half of the bridle track riding out to Hill End did not disappoint. It's easy to see why this trail is so popular amongst four-wheel drivers and motorcyclists. It's the perfect blend of unsealed tracks and spectacular scenery. Eventually, after taking in some more lookouts and winding our way up the remainder of the track, we arrive at Hill End. According to Google, from the bridle track start to the finish at Hill End, is 52 kilometres. Hill End was like a ghost town when we arrived. It was quite comical to see the 40k speed zones for school children in this seemingly deserted little village. We travelled to Safala via Hill End Road. After brushing up on our mining history, we headed for Upper Turon Road, which was pretty awesome. Oh, hey, slippery, little slippery. We turned onto Palmer's Oakey Road and continued washing our bikes. Eventually the dirt came to an end and we decided to take a quick detour to Portland to check out the silo art. It was quite impressive. Continuing along Curly Dick Road, no seriously, I'm not making this shit up. We head to Oberon to pick up some supplies and refuel. Even though there was light rain, fog and 12 degrees, it was quite pleasant riding along Edith Road. We turned into Canangra Walls Road knowing that our destination was getting close. However, the flashing signboard made us do a double take just to make sure our road was open. It was all good, so we continued. After about 20 k's of easy dirt road, we arrived at Canangra Walls. This place is spectacular and impossible to describe, so I'll just show it to you.
Here's tonight's delicious meal. Just had water. Here's camp two. Andrew's in the naughty corner again. Two tenerays are together. After a drizzly night of light rain and a pretty good sleep, we hit the trail. Andrew said, you can go first. I now know why. There were heaps of wallabies and kangaroos about to test my reflexes. Unfortunately, my GoPro missed all the wildlife action along Canangra Walls Road. Finally, near the end of the Gurnang State Forest, we pull over and I get my GoPro working again. Note to self, throw GoPro in bin when I get home. We continue along the Bicentennial National Trail, which comes out at Mount Warong Road. We're pretty sure that the flooded causeway from day one should be clear by now. So that's the direction we're headed in. So sit back and enjoy the ride. where I walked in the other day. The ride was just about finished. Thanks to Andrew and Dave for sharing this ride with me. It was awesome. And Andrew for the extra GoPro footage as well. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you want to be notified of more videos in the future. Thanks for watching. Tina over in the parking lot. Just changed another defective GoPro battery.